in this video we will talk about the states of matter. Matter exists in three states. And these three states are solid, liquid, and gaseous. And these states, they are interconvertible. Are inter interconvertible. Let us see how these three states change into each other. Suppose we write solid here, then this is the liquid state and it will be easier for you to understand this if you take an example. We can take the example of water here and gaseous and these three states as we said they can be converted from one state to another. Solid, you can take it as ice. This is your liquid water and this is water vapor. Now, let us see how we convert one state into the other and what that process is known as. Solid can be converted into liquid. Ice can change into liquid water. This process is known as melting or there is one more word. It is called fusion. So, we can call this process as melting or fusion, i.e. changing into liquid. That is liquid water. Liquid changing into gaseous state. Water, when we heat water, it changes into water vapor. So, this process is known as or let me write it straight. It is known as vaporization. We call this process as evaporation. So, this is vaporization. Now, let us talk about the reverse process also. Suppose the gaseous state, that is water vapor is converted into liquid state. Then this process is known as condensation. Water vapor changes into liquid water. That is condensation and this we have seen many a times, all these processes. We see it in our everyday life. Solid ice, ice melts and we get liquid water, liquid form water. We heat this liquid that is water, it changes into water vapor or steam you can call it. Steam has water vapor. Now when this water vapor deposits on some surface, Many times what we do is when we want to, you know, uh, clean our specs, we exhale on that glass and we find there are tiny droplets which are deposited. There is water vapor which we exhale and this water vapor which is in gaseous state gets deposited on the cold surface of that glass in the form of liquid droplets. We have done this when we, you know, see the glass window panes or maybe the uh, you know the window sheets of our uh, cars we exhale and we find tiny droplets there and then we draw something there we can write our name also and there you see that the liquid is in the form of tiny droplets where was that liquid it was in the gaseous form and now it has changed into liquid this process is known as condensation liquid into solid water can be converted into ice and this process is known as freezing or we can also call it solidification. We are changing the liquid into solid. Now let us come to this solid sometimes there are some solids which can directly change into gaseous state. So, from solid to gas, this conversion is known as sublimation. 
and sub, sub, such substances they are called sublime substances. Sublime substances. We have two examples. One is of camphor. And second is dry ice. Dry ice is actually solid carbon dioxide. And it is very, very cold. It is used in those big uh, deep freezers where, you know, we keep frozen food for a very long period of time, which we see in, you know, shops and all. Or maybe in hotels where they have to keep the food at a very low temperature. So, they use this solid carbon dioxide. And this solid directly will change into gaseous state without coming into liquid state. Such a process is known as sublimation. Camphor also. When we burn camphor, camphor is seen in the form of those white uh, opaque cubes. When we burn it, it directly changes into gaseous form without coming into a liquid state and gases getting converted into solid this is known as deposition so one state can change into the other state and these conversions are given some terms so solid into liquid is melting Liquid coming back or bringing uh, back in the solid form is freezing or solidification. Liquid into gas is vaporization, which we commonly call evaporation also. And gases again into liquid is condensation. Solid directly changing into gas is sublimation. And here we have written two examples of these sublime substances. And gases directly coming into solid state or when we bring gases directly into solid state, then that process is known as deposition. So, these terms are very important and this helps us understand that there are three states of matter, but they are interconvertible. We can change one state into another and there are certain terms given to it. In the next part, we will take the properties of solid, liquid and gases.